Namaste everyone, this is Dr. Hima Embar from Daily Arogya. I am doing the Dhinacharya series, as you are all aware. In my previous talk, I forgot to mention about the Nasyam in the morning practices. Nasya, according to Ayurveda, is nothing but the application of Ayurvedic nasal drops in the nostrils. Nasya takes care of all the problems related to the head and neck region, that is, the issues related to above the collarbone or the clavicle bone. Therefore, daily self-application of about two to three drops of anutailam in each nostril would be very beneficial. So the last talk was about the details of morning practices, that is, before going to work. Now let's continue with the midday and the evening or night practices. Midday focuses on when to have your largest meal. It is usually between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., which is the pitta time of the day, when the pitta energy is at its peak. Now, what is pitta energy? It is the energy of cooking, digestion, and transformation. So, by aligning our pitta energy with that of the nature, that is the energy of cooking, digestion and transformation, it functions better in our system. Remember, we are all part of nature and aligning to nature's clock helps us to sink and function optimally. So have a light breakfast and light dinner. Focus on having a heavy lunch. So lunch should be made the largest part of the meal of the day. Eat just right to keep you active and alert throughout the day. Do not overeat to feel sluggish and sleepy. Take a light walk after lunch to help with digestion. Next, now try to avoid daytime sleeping. A short power nap of 10 to 20 minutes is okay. And you can do that only if it is needed. Now try to lie down on your left side. That is preferred. People who are old, sick, very tired and children can sleep in the afternoon for about few minutes but not otherwise. Remember, daytime sleeping can lead to ama or toxin buildup. Now let's come to evening or the night practices. This is the time to unwind from the stress, time to relax Time to spend time with the family. Have an early light dinner. Give about three, t three hours time to go to bed. Sleep by 10 p.m. so you get up with the sun. It is a good practice to do breathing techniques or pranayama and meditation every day for about few minutes, either in the morning or in the evening. This will help with better sleep as well. Massaging your feet with warm sesame oil can also aid in better sleep. These are the general guidelines to self-care and living happy and healthy. So you can pick and choose to start with. Once you see it's helping you, you'll be able to incorporate more and follow these practices regularly. Now eating and sleeping at proper times is very, very important. Next comes the breathing techniques or the pranayama and the meditation. Even devoting five minutes of your valuable busy time will have a profound impact to your own health and well-being. Focusing on your normal breathing is the simplest way to do pranayama and meditation. Next is the alternate nostril breathing or anulom vilom pranayama and this can do wonders. You can find videos on YouTube and try and do it yourself. Now, our health is in our hands, so we need to take control of it. Ayurveda says, if you want a happy, healthy, peaceful, long life, then Dhinacharya is the way to go. So, hope you liked my talk today. 
See you more with Ayurveda. Thank you. Namaste.